you know, burst speed, reborn grenadiers are silly. All right, let's go ahead and save with Ancient Hourglass. And now I will go ahead and play Zareth. So now whenever the level of Ziggs comes back after the Zareth, we're going to do three damage to the two one. I will you know, count the, start this countdown going. I wouldn't say it's the final countdown. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Zareth Ziggs. Let's try out some more Ziggs decks, and we're going to try out Zareth again as well. This deck here should hopefully really uh, showcase both of our champions, because both champions, both Zareth and Ziggs, want you to destroy allied landmarks. We need to destroy four to level up Ziggs, and then each one after that does two to the enemy Nexus. We need to destroy four to level up Zareth, and each one after that does three to the weakest enemy. Both of those pretty strong effects. So we're going to want to destroy a lot of allied landmarks. That's what our deck's going to be doing. So we're going to be combining Shurima, which is our normal landmark region, with Bandle City. So we can have these kind of cards like Hexplosive Minefield, Inventive Chemist that's making this Scrappy Bomb. And we're going to have like some different uh, landmarks that we'll be creating. Bomber, Twins, we'll be creating some landmarks, Rock Hopper. Endless Devote, all these cards creating landmarks. And then we're going to have a good amount of card draw. We'll have Unraveled Earth, Preservarium, Hidden Pathways, all that kind of stuff to draw extra cards. And we're just going to be continue to play landmarks and destroy them. Desert Naturalist will be destroying them. Ride of the Arcane going to be destroying them. And then at the top end, we're going to have Safety Inspector. Round Start creates this Inspection Past, destroys a landmark, does three to anything. That could be a Nexus or any unit. And then finally the arsenal at the top end. I'm super excited about this arsenal because we are going to be destroying lots and lots of landmarks. And so this has a random keyword for every ally landmark you've destroyed this game. That is ridiculous. Man, that could be insane. So let's say we it's very possible we could destroy like six landmarks, eight landmarks by the time we play the arsenal. Like if there's eight landmarks destroyed, you play this thing, it's an eight six with just eight random keywords. That's going to be incredible. That's going to be, you know, like Overwhelm, Elusive, Quick Attack, Challenger, Scout, you know, like all that kind of stuff. Spell Shield. It's just going to have all of that. And that is just absurd for a finisher. So that's good. We're going to have a couple of copies of the Arsenal at the top end. Super excited about trying out this card and just seeing what happens. All right, so let's play some Zareth Ziggs. We're going to go and take it on over to Ranked. We'll play five games over there. Here we go. Yeah, Victor pretty jealous of the arsenal. Oh yeah, lifesteal. Yeah, lifesteal would be clutch. What are, we, what are we playing against? Lulu Poppy? I'll send back the hourglass. I think we keep the rest. Yeah, you can't get you can't get the bad keywords. You can't get like ephemeral and that kind of stuff. No negative keywords. So I do want to ride of arcane the scrappy bomb next round. So I do hope that they play like Lulu next round and give me a very juicy ride of the arcane target. Because this bomb's gonna go off next round start. So have three one fleet feather tracker. My shield is yours. All right. So it looks like I get to. Looks like I'm killing the Bright Steel Protector. It's definitely worth doing that. Like, I don't want to play, like, these things into Barrier Fleet Feather Tracker, obviously. Okay, we get a Zareth. Just play a Bomber Twins. Play a Ziggs. No, we can probably wait a little bit and see if we can, like, level up both champions. I think we're going Bomber Twins. Let's take it for a spin. 
spin. All right, we get an Emperor's Dice. I like that Terraki mode a lot. Yeah, same level up condition. Very nice. So that's that definitely makes our deck building uh, you know, pretty straightforward. We're going to want to destroy landmarks early and often. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. This is going to get pretty nasty. I think I'm going stun. Done to start with. And then Zareth? I'm worried about them having a, a rally. If I go Zareth, they go rally. I'm worried about that. Maybe I just play this. So this works, that kills the Fleet Feather Tracker and the f stuns the 4-3. Okay, so sh that should still... Why is that not killing that thing? Shouldn't that still kill that thing? Oh, because that's not the weakest enemy anymore. The Lulu's the weakest enemy now. Right. Taking five. I'm attacking. Oh, yeah, I guess we're just dead. Hmm. That was a tough couple of turns for me, and, and obviously that didn't work out how I wanted them to at all. Looks like I had, couldn't play the Zareth yet. Looks like I had to go, like, Naturalist. I know, good game opponent. They had their champions, and a Fleet Feather Tracker that was amazing, and then rallies and barriers. Oh, we're definitely going to need our Hexplosive Minefield to be able to stun at Scion. That's for sure necessary. Is it usually not worth playing unleveled Zareth? Yeah, but my opponent has like this Flea Feather Tracker that's just killing me that I, I was hoping to be able to do one damage to the Flea Feather Tracker. It didn't work out, but that, that was my thinking we're playing it. I need to turn off prismatics. I have like this one prismatic and the rest aren't. <laughs> That's kind of ugly. I want them to all look the same. To awaken the blood so awesome. so they have two more cards in hand than I do. We're still kind of learning what the new competitive decks are. This Draven Scion here looks really, really good. That would be like my my number one pick right now. The deck that my opponent's playing. I do have a video up with Draven Scion up on YouTube from like two days ago.
creating a lot of preservariums. Or just have a lot of preservariums. Two out of four. I want to play on Raveled Earth. Give me more landmarks to be destroyed to level up my champions. That's a good draw, because it can give me another blocker after they play something. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I will run you over. It's gonna blow. Oh dear. No. <laughs> okay, Ziggs does a really good job challenging this uh, for two this will be a blast because <laughs> it has the attack ability of deal two to the blocker so that's perfect Anything else? <laughs> Throw him away. unfortunately I don't really have like a great card to play besides that like we could play the preservarium I suppose play star spring and just try to get that in play for blowing up but I'm gonna want to probably blow up the hexplosive minefield. That's odd. Did they think that was going to trade? Star Spring. Because like, they play Scion, I blow up the minefield. Oh, it tells you? It tells you what keywords it's going to have? That's crazy. I didn't know I did that. Man, these instant speed, like these, you know, burst speed reborn grenadiers are silly. All right, let's go ahead and save with Ancient Hourglass. And now I will go ahead and play Zareth. So now, whenever the level of Ziggs comes back after the Zareth, we're going to do 3 damage to the 2 one. You know, count the, start this countdown going. I wouldn't say it's the final countdown. We'll get it going. Okay, here we go. So it's going to have... Augment, Fury, Tough, Impact, Scout, and Quick Attack. Uh, impact is a new keyword they have for that? That's unfortunate. Or I just draw cards and pass. We have a lot of these right of the, the Arcanes. This has done the strongest enemy. If they leave you, they can be broken. Draven out. Huh. That did not go according to plan. So I was too greedy. Definitely too greedy with the pass. I had this game won. All I had to do was, whenever I played the draw two pass, if I played Desert Naturalist, blow up the stun, make the, or blow up either of those, make the extra 5-4, that kills the Draven because of Xerath, and then I have the four attackers, and I attack and kill them. So that was a, uh, that was a cool move by the opponent that we got to see. That was a very poor play by me of being patient, and the, just the draw two was just not was not a good play at all and so you make a you make a really bad play when you have like a, a very good play for lethal you lose the game lessons learned 
So we'll be playing against Draven Sion again, and hopefully with a better result. I can't really ask for a better hand. I had everything that I needed, and I did not take advantage of the situation to win. Hey, Afro, good game. That was a cool use of the Get Excited there. Good job. All right, so we'll just have this as gain three life, I suppose. You know, it's a very aggressive start. They're attacking for five on round one. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. It's Draven time. Would you look at this place? This is burning. Out of my way. I fear that may happen. Something like that. Could be one and one, but you know, we're still like these are just all these new cards. I'm just kind of figuring out, and like that's hopefully everybody else is learning just what like these play patterns are all like with all these new cards and everything like that. So I do not want to destroy my Ride of the Arcane. Like, I don't want to Ride of the Arcane destroy the Hexplosive Minefield. Um, I, I want to save that Minefield for later for Scion. Okay, lots of Dravens. So the good news is there's, there's only three cards that we don't know about. You know, I'm, we're not going to, like, necessarily lose to all this stuff over here. So not, like, a, an absolute ton of cards. If they have just, like, Burst Speed, put a unit in play, I don't know which one of these two, we, like, we would sacrifice to make that unit vulnerable. I would assume the one on the left, so I want to target the one on the right. It's cool that it tells you which keywords that it gains. I, I'm i disappointed the impact's like one of the keywords it can get, though, because that's just going to be it. Um, negative. Alright, looks like we're just dead. Looks like we're dead. Would be nice to have like a, you know, a fast speed way to get rid of this, this thing. So like if they go all in on like a unit like that, you can stun it. But there's, there's not. So many trades. There's a card called Unleashed Energy. I don't yeah, I don't know what that card is. Man. Oh yeah, that's Unleashed Energy. Give the ally plus four plus two. Not too exciting, but it's I guess it's a possibility. Yeah, I beat a, I beat Draven Tyon like one time, like like the first time I played against it. And I, I've lost like every time since. I played it the first day, went 5-0 with it, and then we won one time, and then we've lost every since. I've seen it be like I don't know, close to 15 and one now, playing with it against it. We're going to start with Unraveled Earth so we can get some more landmarks in here that can go ahead and go away. 
I've always been a fun guy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just destroy this thing and make a 5-4 and have the 5-4 challenge the buff cap peddler. Um, last time we played against this deck, earlier today, they had a lot of the 3 mana give something plus 3 plus 2. And I don't, don't want the puff cap peddler to be able to be saved. Peddler granting all those puff caps is very annoying, so just went ahead and went with this and putting this thing Notified out there. To close in on this location. We'll prepare him a nice welcome. Let's investigate. Keep in pace. Another peddler. So we have a lot more cards in hand, it's just can we actually unload these cards, everything basically costing 4 plus mana. So many peddlers. So we went with the Xerath, so we could play the Xerath and the Xerath Champion spell. The Rite of the Arcane. If this works out, we'll get rid of both of these. We'll give the minus one, minus one. Oh, awesome, to the Sting Officer. There we go, good job, Xerath. And we got this countdown going. Only needs one more. The safety inspector looks pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and try it out. New card. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, Zig's time! <laughs> Let's make things go boom. And by things I mean landmarks. This could be a huge attack here. I kind of think that we're going to be killing our opponent. Yeah, like, I, I think they're dead. So we're going to go, because we're going to go stun. And then we can blow it up and stun again. Well, what have we here? And get a 5-4. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're dead. History is whatever. This is a big attack. There we go, GG's. Alright, gotta win. Could be 2-2 two and two right now. If I was better at this game. Gangplank Sejuani gonna be tough. Getting rid of Sejuani's is gonna be tough. Alright. Let's get rid of all of these. I know they draw cards and stuff. Like, I could maybe see I'm keeping a Raveled Earth, but I want to have a lot of earlier bodies. So between Rockhopper and Unraveled Earth, that could maybe be three landmarks to help Xerath out. This arsenal seems really cool, but we just haven't really stayed alive till round eight. It's, the game's been over round eight, you know, before round eight either way. And we keep drawing the arsenal early. We, we obviously want to draw it much later. We need that arsenal to have lifesteal. That's like the number one keyword. We haven't seen it have lifesteal yet. He said Sejuani's an awful matchup for arsenal. I can see that. Sejuani with the frostbite. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Time to make some coin. Another day, another explosion. 
Get him, Ziggs. Alright, cool. I like that block. Alright, we're at two out of four. Every single time, impact. One of the very first ones. That has to be the absolute worst keyword. Has to be the worst keyword. They've never seen a contraption like this before. <laughs> what kind of mileage do you get on that thing anyway? Ready? Aim. What? Oh. So that's a lot of cards to kill. <laughs> I mean, that was two cards to kill that that three drop that had vulnerable. Allows them to open attack. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess there's also augment. Augment's really poor as well. Augment maybe is a little worse than impact for just the arsenal, but yeah, those would be the two. Safety will cost. I just want to have the Xerath in play before I naturalist, right? Because I want to be able to. I want to be able to get the minus, the free damage that the Zerath does. So they have three cards. One of them is mine. Two others. Too bad. Well, at least they're empty-handed. I guess you know, finding finding good news. They're empty-handed. Um, maybe draw another Zareth. Whoa! How about that? I will rip the power from the desert. So this card was one of mine. I think it's going to be the one main landmark that stuns something. I think that's what this card is. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, that card! I'd already played two of those. Wasn't expecting that one. Does the double damage also? Out of my way. All the way down to four. You will not hinder my progress for long. I can't hand. I can't. I really. I was. My plan was the ride of the arcane, right? Like that was my plan. I will unmake you. Man, I, I had a plan. I can't take that much damage. All right, right of the arcane. Is 
Zareth's doing a pretty good job of mowing down the board. I mean, like, this game playing's just gonna be dead, right? Oh no, cause, oh, round start, it creates something? Those both did the damage? Wait. Wait, what? Those both did damage to that thing? Yeah, now this is going to do damage to that again. Fight for your lives. Pain is nothing. I'll show him pain. I have to keep this block going to just stay alive. At four. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so the plan is to use this right of the arcane to kill the gangplank and stun Sejuani. Hope that they play something that does nexus damage to Frostbite right now. Yeah, they're not going to play till I combat, are they? Really hoping they do something right now so that then I can play this arsenal, but it's going to get Frostbitten. It's possible they don't have anything that does damage to my Nexus. It's possible. I don't think they have anything that does damage to my Nexus. They don't! How about that? No Frostbite! Alright. Yeah, this is this is just Victor where you don't have to or you just spend eight mana at one time. You don't have to like play Victor and then have Victor alive for like many, many, many rounds to give it all the keywords and everything. But also has the six health instead of four health like Victor. So yeah, new champion, the Arsenal. That looked good. Alright, so we did we're continuing our uh, streak today. Another two and three record with a new deck here with Zareth Ziggs with a new deck. Uh, could have definitely been a 3-2, right? I had I had a win on, you know, the that first Draven Scion game. If I just played the Desert Naturalist, I just didn't. I don't know why. I was really patient. I was over patient, and we got really punished for that, and you know, we ended up losing. But it felt it felt pretty good. I th I liked having all these Bandal cards, right? Like I liked the Hexplosive Minefield. That card looked really good. I liked the Chemist in here as a one drop. I like, you know, that card was definitely good as well. Um, you know, your bomber twins to go along with rock hopper. I thought those are all pretty good. Wouldn't necessarily mind another rock hopper in here. Maybe over like, I don't know. We didn't really do anything with endless devout. Maybe that should be a third rock hopper or something like that. Or I don't know about the safety inspector. Like safety inspector looks pretty cool, but it's, it's really expensive, kind of difficult to pull off. I could see just getting like, just not really worrying about safety inspector playing another arsenal and playing like another rock hopper. I could see doing that. And uh, just kind of having, just saying, all right, Arsenal's going to be my big, my big time thing at the top end and not have that, that other six mana card or, you know, another hidden path pathways. That's another option as well. So those are, those are some different options maybe to uh, switch up the deck if, if you feel like the safety inspector isn't uh, pulling his weight. But besides that, um, I think I probably need to be a little bit more aggressive with my naturalist, making them five fours. I started doing that like the last two, two games. And things went better for us. So I think I think I need to be more aggressive there with the five fours. Um, but besides that, it looked pretty good. It looked promising. I think I could definitely see this deck being a regular part of the metagame. It looked looked promising. All right, but that's going to be Zareth Zig. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, hopefully y'all are enjoying it. And if you got other um, deck ideas for Zareth Ziggs or any ways to improve this one, put it in the, in the comment section, right? Like we're all just learning about the new cards right now and trying them out and just kind of seeing what works well. So 
you know, feel free to let us know over there in the comments. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Zareth Ziggs. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.